podcasting from Hunts Point, Queens Bridge section in New York. This is the Brooklyn Baritone Podcast. Hey everyone, thank you for joining me. Whenever it is that you are listening, morning, noon, evening, nighttime, in the comfort of your home, you're outside, or in your car, I always appreciate the listens, the likes, the views, the support, and I would definitely always appreciate you hitting the subscribe and notification bell on my YouTube channel, Brooklyn Baritone. I'm always trying to hit up key points in proper development, whether straight individually or anything communally just impacts everyone. I've read so many books. I've taken so much courses. I've um, applied so much things and learned many things uh, along the way of my own life, personal experience, professional experience. And one thing that I know that impacts people greatly is one of the two greatest addictions on this earth. It's either sex or sugar. And I ain't gonna talk about sugar today talking about the impacts that sex has on everyone on everyone on everyone and being that you know i am of course dark skin in nature i see how definitely it impacts uh the community of other people that share my complexion it's not just limited to the, the black brown communities that's everybody and being that i've identified it as being one of the biggest and longest oldest traditions or addictions on earth everyone is impacted by this now i'm going to go to the point where it really impacts people when people are still young when people don't even have the wherewithal mentally to even make proper decisions for themselves but what we have allowed in our culture and socially it impacts children in a very bad way because there's so much things that they see is socially acceptable and it really is not to seek out relationships um, and even becoming sexually active. And it's gonna happen if you are around enough factors and people and influences long enough or enough times, sometimes it only takes that one time. And the problem with that is uh, the thing about sex, it's really supposed to be something that's specific, has a specific purpose, has a specific impact in a positive manner. Yeah, I understand I, I may be sounding a little bit preachy, but it is what it is. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to hold back that truth. I understand that's not a lot of people's reality, but your reality doesn't mean um, what I'm saying is not truth. And there are many people who wish that they, you know, they probably held back or weren't exposed to this. Now, I'm talking about many different in instances where it's like, you know, consensual, even though we, we're not even prepared to engage with anyone like that, because we are still developing ourselves. And it's not fair to ourselves and anyone else to actually share in that type of activity and share that part of us and have them share that part of you, of them. And none of us are even ready. We're not even developed. And it's so key to actually strongly properly develop yourself. Yes, academics is important because everything is about, you know, um, social structure, about mathematics, about social skills, about knowing history, which is utterly important. But then you're consistently surrounded and barraged by what you see, because now we have our mobile devices. Before it was just TVs back in the day. That was the main thing that we had to really engage with, with so much commercials, ads, TV shows, music videos, whatever it is we had the radio, but now it's so much easier and it's much more convenient for these kinds of examples to resonate with us, to have a certain frequency, you have it enough times you're around us and our, our children have to kind of suffer for that because of what we allow. And then when everything goes haywire, when certain generations get exposed to certain things and they are now the ones that are the movers and shakers of this world, and we want to look at them like, what's wrong with you guys? It's what we've allowed as, as a whole. Because children have no real business being around that. Um, and I always looked at like homeschooling because I know school can easily be 
uh, a part of the problem because I used to go to an elementary school, uh, private school, and then it was such a culture shock when I went to public school. And not saying that there's a lot of private school kids that are bad. Okay, get that out there. A lot of them are just bad and they want to act out. But it's even worse with certain public schools and the public schools, period, which your children have to be exposed to. I've said before, when most of us look to teach our children to be fair, to be nice, to be honest, all these beautiful things and traits that we seek to teach them and then something happens. I call it, what did I call it? Uh, I believe uh, emotional PTSD. I think that's the name of one of my old podcasts. Where now you get to a certain point of life, a certain juncture, when a lot of people are not practicing these things. Now you have to kind of learn to adapt to lie a bit to protect yourself or get ahead. Now you have to be cold and callous because that's what everyone else is doing. What happened? What, what really happened? You nurture them and teach them to be nice and all this stuff when they're younger. And then when they get to the adult world, oh, it's the, it's the grown up world. That's business. You got to learn to grow up. What's that? How is that growing up? You're actually growing down because that doesn't benefit anybody to lie, to, to crush anyone's feelings, to backstab people, to conspire against people, to to um, talk about someone behind their back and destroy the minister character. But these are things that we consistently display to our children. And on top of that, we have the sex thing that impacts you emotionally, spiritually, mentally. All these things that our children, we need to be shielding them from. We shouldn't be showing them a lot of things I saw on television. I understand I sound preachy. I sound preachy right now, but it is what it is. It's, it's the reality of it. So many people get caught up now once they get a taste of that sex. It's either they go down that route where they continually seek that out and have relationships they have no business being in. And now they equate some of that to their worth. They equate some of that to what they think they want. When in actuality, you should be sitting there developing what the father put inside of you. <clears throat> I should have been talking a long time ago. When I say talking, I mean doing a production, getting better at talking more eloquent. I should have been at a better status now had I focused on what the father put inside of me. I'm doing it now and I'm very grateful for it. I have breath in my body every day and have the fire in me and I'm going to do it more. But imagine if I had been developed properly from younger to one, recognize that two, make sure that I don't focus on the wrong things. That's, you know, looking out for relationships because this beautiful, sexy voice that you're hearing right now, I wasn't really doing anything with it other than going out to talk with with girls. How much girls can I bag? You ask me how much money and how much equity I gained from talking to girls. Not a blasted thing. And this is what we have to drill in our children's heads. Yes, I, um, you know, like the black brown communities I see because that's what I'm around a lot, but I'm also around many other communities too. So this is an issue for everybody. <clears throat> Because all these things, this, this sexual addiction, it leads to sexual abuse, it leads to rape, it leads to people having low esteem of themselves, so they seek these things out to validate themselves. They seek these things out because they feel it makes them important to people. You know, a lot of young men, they hear stories, they see what's out there, what's being pumped in our faces all the time, because it could be porn. It could be OnlyFans pages. It could be just it could be just looking at a regular billboard or any music video or any TV show. And we feel this is what is the accepted norm. So we have to probably perform one way, shape, or form and conform ourselves to whatever that is, as opposed to our children developing what's in them, knowing what real proper love is and having respect is for yourself and everyone and everything around you. It gets twisted now. It gets really twisted now. So as opposed to focusing on heavy relationships now, that's going to take all of your time and all of your energy and all of your focus, because I've been there. And I've learned a lot. I'm still here applying that knowledge. So you could always have something bad and make something good about it. But why go through that in the first place if you don't have to? Hopefully my lips ain't too dry. 
felt kind of dry. Anyways, why go through that if you could prevent that in the first go round? Because some people don't recover from a bad relationship. Some people don't recover from sexual abuse. Some people don't recover from rape. There are people because now, because they just have to have sex all the time. We have sex rings. We have people who are being trafficked, man. Still to this day, people getting snatched off the streets. People who are being groomed for this kind of stuff in this world. And this world exists. It, it exists. You may not hear about it all the time. As of late, you've been hearing a little bit more and more about it. It exists. It's been existed. And many of these people who are at the top of the financial food chain are the ones that's really pushing this stuff. That's grooming everybody else on the, on the lower levels, supposedly, to accept this thing. The way we dress, the way we talk. And these are the things that our innocent little children have to be subject to. They can't defend themselves. We already know that we're not going to be around them all the time as parents. We already know that they're at the mercy of this world whenever we send them out to school, to go to the store with friends. Because whatever you're making every year, it's not it's pale in comparison to what the entertainment industry is pushing. And they have billions of dollars at any given second at their disposal with countless actors and actors and influencers influencing your minds and your children's minds. In my opinion, my educated opinion, homeschooling is much better for a lot of people, a lot of children out there because it limits the negative exposures to things that's out there. In my educated opinion, a lot of us shouldn't have been dealing with a lot of these relationships when we were younger. Because we, we either delayed or even devalued our own growth. And if we can't grow properly, it's going to be really hard for us to add proper value to other people. We got to protect our kids a whole lot more. You know, we have to move forward. You know, we probably lived our lives, but we have to learn from that. Don't just accept it and say, oh, well, they're going to do what they do. I mean, when people are just going to do what they want to do, they're going to do what they want to do. But if you could prevent it, then prevent it. Grow these children, children up properly. Train these children properly. Have them in a proper mindset so they are one, a little bit more better and prepared for the world so they know what's out there to protect themselves from and what's out there that they know that they can change and do. You know, when you know you could have been doing squats and leg days, but you kept skipping it, now people laughing at you because you got skinny legs. It's the same thing. You could have been developed more as a child mentally. You could have had your house at an early age. Could have been an impact. You could have had your own business. Could have been a teacher. Could have been an engineer. Could have been an architect. But so many people get derailed because of sex. Well, I guess that's my cue with that beautiful New York symphony in the back with the car alarm. Well, that's all I got to say. Um, you can catch the rest of my uh, content on my website, which is www.brooklynbaritone.com. You could also catch more of my podcast on my YouTube channel, Brooklyn Baritone. I'm also found on LinkedIn. I am also on Instagram and I am on Facebook. You can also catch me on Google Play Store, the Apple iTunes Play Store, and Amazon Music Podcast. So anyways, hope I gave you guys something to think about. I appreciate you listening and I always appreciate you checking me out. I want you guys to be blessed and walk good. You will hear from me next week. Talk to you later.